Welcome to the brief introduction to the Wellen library. So, Wellen is a framework for exploring and teaching generative music making and algorithmic compositions. It facilitates simple ways of playing musical notes, facilitates easy access to low-level digital signal processing, DSP, and supplies rhythm and timing, as well as some standard musical mechanics. The library acts as an adapter to various sound in and outputs like MIDI, OSC or digital analog audio. The library is hosted on GitHub under this URL. So this is the introduction text. Um, and as I said, it's, uh, it is uh, available on GitHub under this, on this page here. Um, and um, maybe let's first have a quick look at, at how to um, use this and what, what's the idea of the Van library. So um, I've developed this library more or less as a teaching and learning tool, um, but, but it also now evolved into more like the sketching and maybe also like proper production tool for generative music making. Um, this, is the, this is the library um, used in the processing.org environment. So um, maybe the first thing uh, we should have a look at is like how to install this. Um, so um, you, you have basically two options. First, you can download the release um, here on the GitHub page. Um, it's not as up to date as this zip file here, but it's stable. So you could do this and refer to the release number, but you can also download this zip. And then once you've downloaded this zip um, file, you can, um, install this into the processing library folder, um, which looks like this on Mac OS. Um, I'll just copy it over, I've downloaded it before. I unzip the zip and throw it away. So now, um, now this should be installed. We need to usually need to restart processing um, to make the library accessible. takes a while to restart so and the easiest way to test if it has been installed is by just opening the example folder which looks like this and then scrolling down to the Venn library and here we see um, five six examples and we just run the first one to see if we hear some sound um, if that all works then the library has been properly installed okay that works fine so let's have a look at um, what the Venn library is all about. So I've prepared this um, super scary schematic. Um, this uh, outlines the, the kind of the structure of the, um, the Venn library. As I said, it was built as a, as a teaching environment. So the main focus was to, um, to well, give easy access to like um, functionality that is, um, sorry, that is, uh, that you, basic functionalities you need to um, make generative music and, and um, generative compositions, etc. So the, um, the, the first idea of Wellen is actually to give easy access to playing notes. So, um, so this is also the first example. I'm just going to run this um, briefly here. We have it open already. Um, this is the, the tone module in um, the Wellen library and it allows you to turn notes on and turn notes off. There's a more in-depth description of all these examples um, um, in this playlist also on YouTube. So, um, so this is this whole tone playing notes section here, yeah, which can be controlled from your application. Then there's a, a second um, like building block of, um, of the tone library and that is this um, DSP, digital signal processing, which is used to really send like individual samples to the underlying audio hardware. And um, what this does actually, it, it allows you to, to really like sonify, sonify mathematical formulas, for example here, a sine wave, um, and send all sorts of other like pre-recorded um, sample data, etc., etc., directly to the audio hardware. And um, this is the DSP block or module in the Venn library structure. Um, there are also two other uh, tone implementations. One is for, for communicating with MIDI devices uh, and another one is for communicating via OSC over the network. Um, then there is this, um, this kind of third um, 
um, block, which is the, the, the beat, time structures, but including also um, events, etc. So this allows uh, to receive and also send events um, from other devices, from the, the computer mouse, the computer keyboard, but also from, from a time-based structure. So, so here, for example, the beat thing is um, just looks like this. You, you have this beat object and can start a beat, which then repeatedly um, is triggered this beat event over time so that you can create something like a rhythm, which is obviously very important for music making. So these are the three basic building blocks. So it's uh, playing musical notes with tone, it's doing digital signal processing with DSP, and it is creating time-based structures with beat. Um, and in later examples, um, I also explain how to um, receive events from, from MIDI or from the network via, via OC, or also how to send um, these events. That's pretty much the, the very um, quick introduction of um, to the uh, Valen library. And again, like it's hosted on GitHub. Um, and here you find the most recent version. Here you find the last stable version. And here is also a bit of an explanation of these um, three blocks in the README um, file. And um, also really um, worth pointing out, of course, is this um, is the, the, the examples that are, they are really worth um, looking at. So this is the, um, because they explain everything in, in, in detail through code. So we were just looking at these um, basic examples, but there's also an extended example folder with a lot of um, examples on different topics. Um, and then there is also these, um, these the third folder on applications where the library is applied in yeah, different contexts of mostly generative and algorithmic composition. So have a look at those two. Um, enjoy the library and so on.